if you want your Silent Hill FPS go from here to here, stick around. So Silent Hill 2. You can turn on FSR3 frame generation without a mod and with a mod. With the mod, you can turn on FSR 3.1.1 along with the frame generation. And it's working pretty well but with little bit of ghosting and UI flickering, unfortunately. Without the mod, you have no flickering and you don't have to install any third-party software. This will work for GTX and RTX users, AMD and Intel, I'm not sure. So consider subscribing. These things take really long time to make. You can appreciate my hard work by clicking that like button. So let's get right into it. So this video is mainly focused on free users. The first thing you need to do is set the game to run in DX12 mode. When you just open the game from launcher, you are just running the game on DX11. You need to run the game on DX12 mode to make the upscaling and frame duration to work. For that, what you wanna do is go to your Silent Hill 2 installed location. Go to SH Proto, Binaries and Win64. And in here, make a shortcut of this file in the desktop. And then right click on the shortcut. Go to properties. In the target section, go to the end of it and press space one time. And then type hyphen dx12. For Steam users, you need to put this exact command on launch option of the game. After that, open the game and set the upscaling method to none. Otherwise, the game will crash or you get a black screen at the beginning. Right. And for the upscaling part, we're gonna use the newest version of OptiScaler. Link will be in the description. So open OptiScaler folder and extract everything to the game exe location. And go to DLSS override folder and run enable signature override registry file. Rename the copied nvngx.dll file as dxgi.dll. Go back two steps and go to the plugins folder and the dlss folder. Copy this file and paste it in the application location. Rename that file as nvngx.dll. Don't run the game using the folder application or the launcher. Make sure to run the game from the desktop shortcut that we've created. You will not see FSR3 option or DLSS options if you don't run the game in DX12 mode. The game is so beautiful even in the low settings. For me, whenever I try to change back to in-game FSR3 when I use in the mod, my game will crash every time. So don't change to in-game FSR3 when you use this mod. Even with low settings, I get really low FPS. When you go to settings, you can see now I have the DLSS option available. But even with the DLSS enabled, I get the exact same FPS as before. Press insert key on your keyboard to get this menu. When you set the upscaling method to FSR3.x, you can see I got about 10 FPS more without frame generation. Now it's okay than before, but when you turn on frame generation, the whole game becomes so smooth. Yes, you have ghosting, but it's not that bad because game doesn't have that much UI to begin with. You can use the hard fix provided by the mod, but it does nothing yet. It's just turning off the frame generation. This will get fixed, but it will take some time. So when you close the game, the changes you did in the mod menu will reset. To use same settings again, you need to edit the nvngx.ini file. Open it and in dx12 upscaler section, remove auto and put fsr31 in there. And if you want to set the frame duration to true, you can do that as well. You can enable async. It will give you extra 1 to 2 fps. And if you want to remove the mod and use only the in-game upscaling and frame generation, just delete these files and you are good to go. Let's see how we can enable in-game FSR3 frame generation. Make sure to remove any other upscaling methods before you do this. Go to the PC Gaming Wiki link in the description. 
scroll down and find this high fidelity upscaling section. To do this, you have to play the game at least once to generate this uh, engine.ini file. Then click on this hyperlink. In this configuration file location section, copy the windows path. Then click on start menu and type run. Open this. Paste the copied path here and press enter or ok. Then this folder will show up. In here, open the engine.ini file. Scroll down to higher fidelity section again and copy this command line. Scroll down in the engine.ini file and at the end add one space and paste the command. After that, copy this command and paste it under the system settings command. You can put these other commands under the system settings command too. Save this file and close it. Then run the game. Select the FSR3 upscaling and it will automatically trigger frame generation. So with this method, no more UI or hard figuring. But FPS is lower than the OptiScaler method. So that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next video. Adiós amigos.